This one's it saves me having to go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I met this guy the other day called Ono, and I thought, that's a bit rude, isn't it? I mean, what a cheek. I mean, I'm sure he would have rather have been aborted than to be constantly reminded that he was a mistake <laughs> and that his parents didn't want him around. <laughs> it's like every time they see him, it's like, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I mean, it must have been really confusing as a kid. Anytime anything went wrong at home or at school, everyone would be like, oh no, oh no. And he'd be like, you're always blaming me. <laughs> I mean, confusion again between the sheets. Him and his girl making love. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh no! And he'd be looking around all unsure and shit. And if he prematurely ejaculated, he'd be like, oh no! And she'd be like, oh no. I mean, a name like that is just damn disappointing. He might as well be called your shit. Or, why don't you fuck up and die? I mean, let's hope that he doesn't meet a Marioko Ono and adopt her surname. <laughs> I mean, names are weird, aren't they? I mean, I know they're used as a means of identification, but I mean, I can't be bothered with names, man. I've reduced names to numbers, especially with the amount of kids I've got. I've got five kids. I was born in a Chinese year with a rabbit and I bred like one. So when I'm introducing them, I'm like, that's the firstborn, that's number two of five, that's the third, that's the penultimate, and that's the fifth and final, who is number one pain in the ass. I mean, even my name. I mean, my parents must have been secret Satanists or thought I was a devil child, because Natasha spelt backwards is, ah, oh, Satan! <laughs> Had a drink since. <laughs> I mean, they must have been like, we have done your bidding for you, oh dark lord of hell. A daughter for you. Ha ha ha. I mean, they must have been secret insect fanatics as well, because myself and my sis siblings all begin with Nat. There's Natasha, Natalie, Nathan, and Natoya. And my dad buggered up soon after Natoya was born, so he might as well have called her Nat My Problem. <laughs> You've got names that don't mean a thing. You've got names with double meanings. There's Russell, yes, rustle up some leaves. Or there's Jack, Carjack, Jack shit. Or there's Robin, which is a bird and burglary. And you've got some fucked up names as well, right? There's a guy called King, first name Wayne. Wayne King. Why would you do that to your kid? <laughs> I mean, his parents must have been like, oh, we named him after his uncle, Uncle Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a factor in growing up alcoholic, just starts game you in house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You should make some kids like some modern day alcoholic beverages such as Blue WKD or Jaeger or Methylated Spirit. Mm. <laughs> you got, um, do you know what? You got, I'm, I'm from Jamaican descent, but everyone's got two names. I mean, my dad's called Ricky and Nilsman, and he's got a brother called Neville and Kush. Now, white people, they've got like pet names like Poppy, Teddy, Bundy. But Jamaicans have AKAs. I mean, that's handy for committing a bit of criminality. And uh, I mean, you've got lazy parents as well that name their daughters after themselves. And I'm talking about the fathers. The dad's called Glenn, the daughter's called Glendina. <laughs> the dad's called Brian, the daughter's called Brianna. The dad's called Junior, the daughter's called Junior Junior. Um, you've got names that shorten into names that don't sound anything like the original. William becomes Bill, Robert becomes Bob, Richard becomes Dick, and Gareth becomes Wanker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you've also, um, does anyone remember those celebrity super couple nicknames like Kim Ye and Tom Cat? Well, they're divorced now. Brangelina? Anyone remember those? Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed they didn't have one for Miley Cyrus when she was dating Arnold Schwarzenegger's son Patrick. For obvious reasons. My nigger! <laughs> with a ranked right up there with, oh no! <laughs> Thanks, you've been great.